Hey, check it out. You're smoking with your boy Joe Thunder. This podcast, podcast. brought to you by Be Good Dispensary, yes. our official sponsor. Yep. Bringing the latest and greatest in hip hop and the arts and cannabis shit. culture. With co host Elvis Freshly Fresh. and DJ Sin. Sin, Sin. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Joe Thunder back once again. And you already know what time it is. We got another episode of the Smoking Joe Thunder. I done lost track. Elvis, do you know how many episodes this is? Honestly, bro, I could, I could not tell you. Do you know how many episodes this is, one? There's no way. We could go count, but I mean, we up there. We're going to have to count it. You know? Yeah, this episode like 100 and... So it's 50. at least at 140. 150. We're pushing, 140 like something. pushing. Yeah, 150. And I got my co-host Elvis Freshly in the building. Yo, what to do? Can I get a one, huh? One, huh? Shout out DJ Sin. Yo, Couldn't Sin. make it tonight. But Miss we got you. you. We got you. Always. We got Juan in the building filming. Big Juan. Making moves. And we got another motherfucking stellar episode for you today. Oh, yeah. It's I don't going even down know tonight. where to start. She's like a young hyena doing a little bit of everything. Singing, rapping. I'm sure she's dancing, making clothes, <laughs> making art. Making moves, hey. just you know doing it out here, getting it, yeah, getting it. Little youngster, like just you know, getting it and just doing all kinds of shit. We got Nasia, aka Nana, aka Nana, in your business. <laughs> your business, <laughs> hell yeah. What's going on with you? What's up? What's up? Not much. How you doing? How you doing? Shit, we living. Um, it's cold outside. It's cold, <laughs> it's cold as well. No, it's snowing. We smoking the Zaw right packs. Now. Shout out, be good, our official sponsor Shout right there on Living West Hamden. Yeah, we smoking that with banana, strawberry banana, or Tropicana what? banana. Tropa. Tropa nana. Tropa nana. If you don't it's know, <laughs> if you don't know, take it's yourself down, down to Eleven West Broad, Eleven West Hamden Boulevard. Be good. South Broadway, Broadway, South Broadway and Hamden. Yeah, Hamden Broadway by Spaceship, by the right? Bubble Bank. Inglehood. Yeah, Inglewood. Yeah. We in we in Inglehood. Inglehood. Right, right, right. So how you doing, man? Just chilling, just chilling. Man. We smoking, Dude, right? Great, honestly. She's already rolled like three <laughs> or four backwards. Warm. Like I'm I just think. like, damn, like it doesn't right. matter because they're Let's good. Go. Like my backwards are shitty. We like, going. Bro. We smoking. Yeah. She ain't playing, right? We snowed in. Fuck. I've been seeing you on the IG. <laughs> you be lit. Hey, if we snowed in, at least we got a gang of <laughs> weed. We might not have no food. We, we have no food, food so yeah. bring some food. Somebody yeah. bring us some food. food. Bring you get yeah. you a slingshot and you know bring us a bottle too. Yeah, bottle. What you drink? What you drink? What you drink on? Tequila kind. Uh oh. I really like that 1942, but if I'm, you know, I don't have the unchies in my pocket, then I'll get, mm, I'll probably just get those little Don Julio shooters and call it a night. Just give me like two. Right. What did you call it? What, what in your pocket was the name? The name unchies. Of, unchies. Like, unchies. Oh, like, unchies. Like money. Uh, unchies. Yeah, not know what it is. I'm just yeah. didn't hear the name, but unchies. That's a good one. I was like, I remember that. Unchies. I got all these unchies got in the my unchies pocket, in motherfucker. The pocket. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what you got? Dollar, what kind of unchies bills. you got on it, I'm homie? I'm a, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't have the unch. If you don't have the unchies, please don't come around. Don't. Uh-uh. You can't, you boy, can't kick it. That's that here. Exclusive. Boy, this weed is like what? <laughs> it does. It does. It does numbers. <laughs> it's numbers. That's fine. I don't even want to ask. Yeah. Well, you know, we support. We support the local artists. The money goes yeah, to the right it places. Oh yeah. Make the moves over here. Yeah, y'all definitely make the moves for Colorado. Hey, check it out. Tell them where you're from and That's where you grew up. You're from the from. city, right? You're from Denver, born and raised. Yeah, I was born and raised Denver, Colorado. Um, yeah. My pops grew up in the islands in Hawaii, so I go back and forth from there and here. That's dope. Yeah, don't get no better than that, right? You come oh, here for no, the summer, then go there for the winter. I mean, usually I go there for the summer. Yeah, it's hotter right. in the winter time. It's kind of cold out there. It's See, I'm fat. I don't like it too hot. No, I like yeah, it hot, you, but not too hot. You might hot. like it during the winter because it's. That's just because I gotta walk, take my shirt off, and walk around. That's all that oh, is. Oh yeah, you could walk with your shoes off. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> no, nah, we ain't taking those shoes off this way. Nah. <laughs> We keep those motherfuckers on. Your ass is keeping shoes on. We putting double triples. Yeah, we putting double triple socks on. We ain't we ain't taking those socks on. Flip flops. Please keep your shit on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to keep your slippers. Need to stay. Y'all could do that, but I'm wearing my whatever Air Max and my J's and get sanded and get mad. You know, get sanded the J's. Who cares? Fuck it. Fuck it. So therefore, we paint. So we get we get them. We get our shit fucked up anyway. So you know what I mean? It's 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 a way of life. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the J's I'm wearing right now. I think we're all matching. What kind of you got? You got the same ones, right? Oh, no, you changed. Or did you change? Or am I tripping? I got the Sakanese on. I thought you were wearing J's here. Or no, I was thinking the Husus. This colorway? Man. 
elephant. Elephant. On the pattern, yes, yeah, elephant what's pattern. The, but what's this Jordan the called? Jordan color oh, wave. like the, the color wave? Those are like the... the I'm not a Jordan wave. expert. They're like the fours, I don't I don't even say. know. I do not know. Those are like the fours. The fours, but what? Or something. Oh, they I got know. Gray, I don't, I, orange, yeah. and white. I don't have the the exotic the, the red the, jump yeah. man. AKA. Oh yeah, those are hard. These is hard. These is collectors. Hard yeah. <laughs> She's <laughs> out here stomping these in the are, snow and them shit. That's, right, that's right. what I was just gonna say. That's how you know you do a shit. You wow. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really care about the shoes like that anymore. Yeah, I I really that's run around the city in these, but these are my nicest J's. It, like in the best condition that I'll wear. Right, right. They're the only ones that are not creased. They don't got too much dirt on them. Right, right. I can still look cool. They're <laughs> like they're at like an eight. Yeah, they're at an eight. They're at eight. My other J's, ooh, them is yeah. at like twos. <laughs> like two. <laughs> twos and ones, even yeah. a zero. I have some J's that I don't even wear no more. I can't even. Can't even bust those out. Nah, somebody. The restoration. My ass. You gotta get that restoration. They'll be like, girl, did you just walk out the house and those? <laughs> Cause I used to be a shoe head. I, I Those are the work, had a lot the of work shoes. shoes. And you gotta do some heavy lifting. Yeah. Gotta go right, get right. in the dirt. No. Or go cut the grass or go paint. Working style. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. I had like the most comfortable J's. They were actually the same ones. They were fours. They're the gray with the green. These are my favorite right now. Fours. They're so comfortable, and I would go bombing them because I just I fucked them up one day, and they were the designated yeah, shoes from yeah, now on. Right. You know what I mean? We rolling with these in the car twenty four seven. And go paint you in, your, run in, these. in your nice shoes. That's what sucks. Like you go paint, and you always happen to be wearing nice shoes because you didn't. Not even that, dog. Just the other day, right then and there, and then you fuck them up, and now those are your paint shoes. Just the other day, I pulled out like this LeBron fucking hoodie that I've had forever, bro. Never really <laughs> wore like fifteen years old, like some mm-hmm. shit. First thing, little black shit. I'm like, nah, yeah. no, I got to do all black. It's all fucked up. Yeah, fuck. Right. <laughs> it was cold as fuck that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, you remember the first time you smoked weed? <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a story <laughs> so right The here. first time I smoked weed, my uh, my cousin and I, we stole That's weed good. from my... Uh, we, st- <laughs> we stole weed from my step-grandma. Step grandma. My step grandma. Step grandma. So yeah, That's my, old my, school my, head right there. Huh? Yeah, my step grandma. She had the uh, she had a little pipe with some weed in her little she closet. Smoke. And we were going on a road trip, so her and I we we knew they had weed in the house, so we grabbed it. We were going to like Snack Wyoming or some weird shit. We grabbed this weed, took it there. You know, we get to the hotel. We're like the whole car ride. Everyone's like, it smells like weed in here. But we're like, I think we're like 12, 13 oh, or 12. I'm like, I'm like 12. She's probably like 14. She's like two or three years older than me, 15. And um, we get to the hotel, go to the bathroom. Everybody's out at dinner, getting ready for dinner, whatever. We thought it'd be okay to smoke in the hotel. Right. We smoke <laughs> in the fucking bathroom at no. this motel, thinking that we could... Okay, we could, you know, oh my put God. put the towel by no. the door. Right. You know, turn the fan on, turn the shower on. Whoa. No. no. My aunt came busting Hell through the door yeah. like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Oh, my <laughs> we God. We got in so much trouble. Did they whoop your ass? They didn't oh whoop no. us, but we definitely were not leaving their sight the whole trip. Oh, you were handcuffed we to We couldn't them. do shit. I remember my oh mom my said, God. you are grounded. You are never seeing your phone again. <laughs> High school is going to be horrible. You like, oh my God. <laughs> and then and then I, I ever since then I kept smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah, I I've smoking. never stopped smoking. Yeah, I've always. I'm smoked. grounded forever. Yeah, my. Are you guys are tripping yeah. that hard on this. Like yeah. fuck it, I don't. There was no, yeah, and now my mom be like, just whatever. So you enjoyed it that first time See, before you got my busted. Mom now, yeah. Like you were like liking it as you were doing it. Yeah, I was like, ooh, this is fun. Right. We, be, we being bad <laughs> in the hotel. I'm yeah, so man. young. Why am I in here doing this? But oh my God. yeah, that was um, a horrible. Experience, it wasn't a good key. first experience. But after that, it was fun. We we'd made life way better. <laughs> right, we does. We mm-hmm. makes life way better. We saved me at a time. For real, I'm there when with you. I was you. really depressed sure. when I was really young. I definitely went through a really fucked up stage. But weed saved me, and then all the people that came with weed saved me. I, real I talk. made lifetime friendships. Through weed, <laughs> the weed yeah. let you know. The like evil really lurks. Do. The weed will let me know if someone's energy is the one to be around. Right. That's why Nay and I get along because her and I, are, we we have that fire. We we lit like 
Right. It's good. She make right. me feel comfortable. We comfortable. Like right. it's comfort. Yeah. We supposed to make you comfort. Shout you out, this dope ass Shout out Renee. Dope, yeah. Yeah. Follow her on everything. Dope and everything. Everything. She's a good person. For She's sure. a yeah. Mad love. Mad the love bomb. to her for real. For tapping me into y'all too. Like no, for sure. Yeah, I, pro- She's I probably awesome. wouldn't have reached out to y'all if I didn't meet. Super dope. We appreciate it. Well, you sure. family now, shit. So <laughs> no yeah. trip. All right. Uh, be on here next <laughs> week. We got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, watch. I'm going to be showing up. Watch. I'm be Ron Blush. Hey, something, knock, bro. knock. I got this new weed. You want to try it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure. You ain't, you got, the thing about me, you ain't ever got to ask me if you want to smoke weed. Just say, hey, just let's, yeah, just, let's smoke. we smoking. Where, Where you at? We smoking. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And you were introduced to music at a real early age. Can you talk yeah. about that and kind of tell them how you're influenced by your dad and the islands and the reggae? Yeah, so my um my dad, man, he um he's a really big inspiration in my life when it comes to music i was around music going to bars with him really young honestly in his shirt like i have pictures Mm -hmm. of me tucked under his shirt playing pool with my head peeking out his little like just cute shit but my dad definitely never treated (laughs) me like a um a baby he always treated me like a a human a normal person it was never almost like an adult right yeah he always talked to me like an adult um like, I definitely get my language from him. <laughs> my <Yeah>. my <laughs> vulgarness is from my dad, but there's um there's reason behind it. You feel me? I, I know how to be respected and treated through him. He's definitely taught me a lot through that. But with the music, he um I I grew up listening to Bob Marley, uh shit, the Whalers. We have records and records records. He uh he made music with Big Mountain. If you know who Big yeah, Mountain yeah, is, that's dope. yeah, he he was on no tour shit. with them for a long time. He Damn. did their logos. He did a lot of their uh, cover art and shit. He did. He my dad's a graphic designer, so oh, I'm around dope. art, around music. My dad, he to this day he has a studio in his house. Oh, that's so when dope. I go out to Hawaii, we do that. We we have our music time. We have yet to make a song, but he um his vibes very different. You know, he's still in his. Pops, reggae. he's pops in his little reggae style. Old he, school. He, he hasn't tried nothing new, but it's okay. But um, yeah, he um, always playing reggae, right. always. And that's where you're like different, because we when we were talking, you talk about like when you go to Texas, you don't ever well, want I a song. Been to Texas. Oh, okay, my bad. No. You don't ever want to. Your next song to sound like the last one. Yes. So whenever you're in a different state, you're kind of adapting or kind of trying to see how their style mm-hmm. is and kind of work it with your style, right? Yeah, when I was in L.A., um, I was very influenced by a different music scene than I was when I was out here. Um, the rap the rap scene's way different out here than it is there. You know, that's a, that's a different style of West Coast yeah. vibe to it. You have people from all over the world there. Different. Right. Literally, right. everyone's trying to go there to make it. Yeah, that's that's the place to to you know try and make it. But you know, you, you out there and it's it's fucked up out there. You see people in designer homeless on the street. Right. It's and then you see people at mansion parties that have two dollars in their pocket, no ID, no card, no car, no house, but they're dripped down like it's 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 a pick and choose kind of place. Either you're gonna make it or you're not, and you could fake it until you're literally not gonna make it. Like. People be like, fake it till you make it, but yep. you won't make but it if you keep faking it. it out there. Like, it's crazy. Because that shit will catch up yeah, to you out there because people got real, real money. Yeah, mm-hmm. If something don't get real, you ain't going to make it. What's popping? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, like I said, you started making, like, beats, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I went to Denver School of the Arts um, for stagecraft and design. I did, I studied audio engineering uh, costume design. I she studied. wasn't messing around from the get, bro. She was like, I want no. to record costume. Yeah, I did everything in high school for four years, so. day in, day out. Like, I would leave school at 9 p.m. Like, you could ask anybody that went to that school, you're not leaving that place until you're done and satisfied. That's like, they set you up for, like, no failure. Like, you're not going to let yourself fail at that school. And if you do, it's like you still don't because you still. You gain something. You gain something. Everybody gains something from that school no matter what. But, yeah, so I did lighting design, costume design, set design, and audio engineering. So audio design. That was dope. Yeah, that was crazy. So for projects, I had to make beats. I had to do all types of shit. We had to make costumes, everything. You built sets and shit, too? That shit sounds like like fun. You have to make like a model 
the no, so sets like, or did you actually? Oh yeah, we made no, we didn't make model sets. We really was like, okay, how are we gonna own. make this? Make it safe and everything, and everybody like, um, you know, it's all teamwork. Yeah, we all yeah. we all did that shit. It's we planned it out, made blueprints, um, you know. No, built no, no, it by sure. scratch, I did, I did stage, like I did stage two, and mm-hmm. I uh, yeah. built sets and mm-hmm. shit, too. It was pretty tight. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. It's a pretty dope thing. So I love that. I definitely have a skill um, that I never thought I'd have when it comes to building shit, because now I'm like, okay, I could I could go build this. I know what tools right. I need. I know what kind of shit. Prepare for yeah. it, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going in there blind. Like the planning but and shit. Shout out to my stepdad, because... He's a carpenter, and I still don't know what to do sometimes when I build <laughs> shit, so I'll go to him, Yeah, hey. and he'll help me out. But yeah, That's tight, though. Yeah, the It's peaks, always good to have though. that. Man, audio engineering saved me. That well, uh, teacher just was amazing. He, he definitely was a hands-on teacher when it came to learning how to make beats from scratch. Yeah. And, like, <coughs> we made shit, like, we recorded shit on our phone and, or, like, those little um, tape recorder things. Mm-hmm made different beats out of sounds we found outside, and we did all types of shit. It was crazy. Oh, he kind of gave you, like, a, a, a good-ass, like, tutorial A to yeah. B on, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, it might be. Have you ever years, seen Beat Street by chance? Mm-mm. The movie? I know you have, Elvis. Of course. When he makes the beat out of the fucking I drip should, drop. Yeah. He yeah. makes a beat out of, like, the drop, and he sees a DJ, it's starts mixing into it. It's like the first breakdancing movie. Joe, Joe's... Old. Yeah, I'm aging myself. <laughs> if you go to YouTube that. though, it's no, a I'm free movie. I'm just Hell yeah, I'm gonna right. go to YouTube. I still be. Now you out here though, getting riding it. Riding around getting it. I I'm see. Just like, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I see. But um shit. You left the beats alone, right? Yeah. It's uh it honestly frustrated me being on that side of the, the booth because I did both in high school. We we had to practice recording ourselves as well. And we did podcasts. We yeah. did our own okay. little. We talked about the craziest shit. What did y'all talk about? <laughs> just stories, just crazy shit, just kids in high school talking about right. bullshit. Right. Um, <clears throat> trying not to cuss. No, we were cussing. Oh, our right. teachers were like, <laughs> "Man, tight. can y'all make a like a PG thirteen kind of?" <laughs> That's tight though. They they didn't. Uh... Yeah, our teachers were cool because we knew them for four years, so like right. we really grew up with them. That's they tight. saw us grow up, so they accepted us as we were. For real. They actually seen y'all grow and mature, especially doing yeah. music. You know what I mean? Because if they, you're they in there every day. In us. That was cool. Our teachers believed in us at that school. Like, That's tight. They didn't just be like, all right, let's get to it. We're I'm getting paid to teach y'all this. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. No, they were like, come on. We're going to fucking do this. Y'all have talent. Let's get it. That's like, cool. I'm not letting y'all slack. <clears throat> That's really Shout tight. out to Mr. Howard. He never <laughs> let me fucking slack. He always pushed me to That's do that tight. shit. That's dope. You said, like, you take things away from there. What was the thing that you really took away from there? Mm, man. Honestly, how to really treat people. Mm. School didn't teach me a lot when it came to the books and all the, the fucking, you know, tests and all that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that shit. Nah. <laughs> I yeah, definitely nah. gathered a lot of it. And I am I still go back to my notes and read shit and read books that my teachers have sent me. But the connections that I made with them and, like, really, like, true love in a way, like, right. family, We're real family different. that wasn't, that's thicker than blood. Like, I saw that through them. And even through outside of school, I was, you know, my school was in Park Hill. So I grew, for four years, I was in the hood. Mm-hmm. So... I was, you know, we was doing everything. We was <laughs> a little bit smoking, this, little bit selling. That. We was doing everything. We were doing the most, the fucking most. <laughs> My mom was like, "Get your ass home," and I was like, "No, <laughs> I'm outside." But chilling. Yeah, my mom will still be like, "I can never get her to come home." But um, with that in the hood, you know, that opened me to a whole other fucking way of with family around that that school it made me want to go to school it made me want to be there because at lunch i could be going to the studio outside of school because we had a little studio down the street on the 29th and uh popular popular yep mm. right by newport in there right over there yep we had a little studio in the basement that these kids owned and their mom like lived there she was sick like she had cancer and she was just up there crazy but 
Yeah. Oh, that shit's crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> was that like your first little studio or what? Um, that you went to? Yeah, or? it was my first studio where I felt comfortable enough to like be in front of people making music. Making your music. Mm. Mm. We made music together. It was all like, okay. who's going to, we did opens. It was like four people on a song. Okay. It was it was like that. It was more because it was a free session. You feel me? Right. Were you we rapping? Were, were you singing? I was rapping at the time, and singing on a couple songs. But I was rapping a lot because I was around a lot of boys that were rapping, and they were like writing for me, or they were like, "Okay, you should write this," and giving me different um, feedback. Yeah, feedback, teaching me new words, <laughs> like. That's what really I also I take from that time in my life is the um, how open people were to sharing their craft with me. Right. Because nowadays people be so stingy with this shit. Right. They, they don't be wanting to let nobody shine. They don't want you in a booth. They don't want you in a session. They don't. And like I get it because it's your energy. You can't share that with everybody. But right. at the same time, it's like you can't like win unless. You open to everybody else winning too, like right. right. No, for sure. You really like right. if you're not gonna be supporting, then it's like the next person will at the end of the day. But right. you need support no matter what everybody do. That's the only way you're gonna make it. You need support. That's why a lot of cats haven't made it out here. Exactly, because no, no people be so fucking envious to support and each weird. Other. <laughs> they, don't, they don't go to each other's I shows like, and shit. Whoa. Yeah, I hate that they because don't, they don't they don't go they don't, don't buy an album. Man. Like, yeah. I've been to shows where it's don't like ten of album. us in the crowd, but you got two thousand people, ten maybe even more, five thousand people on your following. Why aren't they you feel me? Like it's yeah. just kinda I don't know, people are weird. It's a lot of fake love in this world. That's why shouts out to the real ones that show the real love. That's it. <laughs> for real, for real. Man, That's it. That shit would be weird. Hey, what artists, um, what kind of artists um, inspired you to do music? Mm. Uh, Jenea, Jenea Ioko, I think I, that's what how you say Aiko, Aiki, Aiko, 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 Aiko. I don't even know her name, but she's fire. I've listened to her for before she even had music on all platforms, like when she was just SoundCloud dropping, mm -hmm. but um. Definitely her. She inspires me with the um, singing. Mm. Who else did I play? You told me you a little bit of Beyonce. Oh, yeah, Beyonce is cool. She she helped me hit them high notes, you know. <laughs> Practice <laughs> yeah. hitting them high notes to her songs. Yeah. What about, I got Destro Lonely? Oh, Destroy Lonely. Destroy yeah, he's Lonely. cold. He's Who is he? Because um, I've never heard of him. Can you yeah, he's a, um, he's a rapper out of Atlanta, I believe. But, um... He makes like this. I don't know. I'll play some shit. It's like a. Uh, you could play it up there if you wanted. He has like a look to him. Like destroy it only. Yeah, it's D. He's cold. It's definitely different vibe. You could type in Rolling Dope as a song. Destroy lonely, Rolling Dope. You said he's from. You think he's from the ATL? Yeah, he's from ATL, I believe. I don't know if there's a video, but mm. he's just a young kid. He just, I don't know, his vibe to him is cool. I've i have lived through some of the shit that he talk about. Mm -hmm. And, like, I was in Atlanta for, like, two weeks, a week. When was it? The first time I went, I was there for, like, a week, and it was the craziest trip I've ever, like, experienced. It was <laughs> fucking, I got off the plane, and... The guy who picked me up was faded, and faded, <laughs> faded. <laughs> in a <the> stolen car. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he was so faded. We crashed the first, like, in the first, like, 10 minutes. Damn. And then, and then he pulled off. It was a hit and run. Oh, my God. And then, and then, and then. Now you're go. accomplished. Bro, we go to get some weed, and weed's not legal in Georgia. Right. So oh, we go to get this weed, and he pull into the parking lot, hit another car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he Such hit another car, shit. bro. So the front end's fucked. The window, like the mirror, uh -huh. fell all the way off, gone. Not oh there. God. Bro, so then he pull into this other parking lot because he hit that car. 
so it's on the other side of the parking lot. And he hit the little curb, and he fucked up the whole front, un- like, under of the car. Mm-hmm. Oh. So three car accidents in the first hour Dang. that I get to Atlanta. <laughs> oh, shit. And mind you, the, the uh, yeah. highway, you know, traffic's fucked out there. It's scary. If you don't know how to drive, you're going to get into an accident for sure. Is it worse than L.A.? Have you been to L.A.? L.A. is bad, but I think it, Atlanta's not bad. You just have to know how to drive. But L.A. is for sure scary. If you don't, yeah, same. If you don't know how to drive in L.A. I love I'll tell you this. In but LA. it's different. You're driving That's in two different shit. sides of the country. I really enjoy like, it. Uh, if people know how to drive West in L.A. Coast yeah. driving. Yeah. But like Southern, like people down South drive different. Yeah. They just drive different. That's I don't funny. know. You got to go. Are they dumbasses or what? No, I haven't. You got to go to Atlanta. I haven't been. But definitely choose wisely who you go with and who you're around. (laughs) Because I almost died out there, too. Somebody shot their gun in this Airbnb we stayed at. And we had to all leave because it was like, it was, bro, it was so bad. (laughs) It was so bad. This is the same trip? Yeah, same trip. Yep. Getting the Airbnb shot up. Yep. Not me. I was downstairs. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying. But man, it was <laughs> the dude I was hanging around, his friends. It was just like doing the most. The most. They had a party there. They had photographers. They had like a whole music video. Oh, shit. It was a lot. I was like, bro, I did not come That's here wild. to be on do some wild shit this. like this. And I told him to just listen to me and he wouldn't. It was a What happened after all that? The next day. I fucking, oh, I, after he, the gunshot, they all like scattered and I grabbed all my shit, called an Uber, went to my uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, but like my mom's good, good friend mm-hmm. from like childhood that dated her cousin pretty much. Um, I went to his house with his, and he has this big ass house in like Sandy Springs or some shit far far in the bougie part oh, of atlanta shit. so i was like i'm about to get saved like right. yes we're good he got cute puppies over there food like and i'm dealing with these crazy ass people so i get my shit and go up there and they call them they're blowing me up where are you at where are you at where are you at like you i had their computer charger or some shit in my backpack right. <laughs> some one thing that some kept dumb me ass like shit. so i had to bring that shit back because i didn't want to like deal with that all day and then I felt bad. He felt bad. He, like, got me a hotel close to the airport, the dude that I was with. Went back to the airport. Airport, And we get to the airport. He dropped me off the next day. And the police, um, they're circling the airport because his license plates are coming up because right. the cameras and shit from the Airbnb. The Airbnb's in this apartment with, in the city, like, cameras everywhere. Oh, shit. Like, he's fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So we go into the airport, and I'm, like, hoodied up. Like, I had bright pink hair at the time, so you could see me. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, this yeah. little ass girl with bright pink hair. Oh, shit. It was bad, but I get to my flight safely. He just, he was on the run for a bit from that experience. Damn. And then um, I ended up linking with him again in L.A., and some more bullshit happened. He just brought bullshit. So, Damn. Yeah, he don't he don't exist no more. Yeah. But... <laughs> Yeah, so that I like was the, the wrong end of place that. to be getting the bullshit is LA and fucking yeah, the ATL, no. you know what I mean? You're getting some shit in both places, like nah, you're no you're not mm-hmm. you're trouble. You're trouble. Yeah, I don't like you. Get away from me. Yeah, Stay the fuck up. away. That's funny. <laughs> right? Yeah. It happens. I'm all high. Yeah, nah, bro. We I got know high. my lid just like unrolled. Just something there's a ghost in here. You just unrolled the blunt. Oh man! Hey, I see you got some tattoos on your face too. I you got a, is that a black widow? <laughs> yeah, I have a little spider right here. Those are is it, why you say, is it a little spider or is it it's a black a widow? Spider. <laughs> yeah, it's a big black widow. Same. It's actually a skull. There's like a skull on it. Oh, I see There's that. There's a that's whole ass. Hell yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and then I have a spider web up here. Yeah, I've been wanting this tattoo for, I think, like two years now. I've always said I wanted a spider on my face. It'll just stand out. I've always wanted, or I actually wanted the spider on my shoulder that was like a 3D. It had like a shadow to it. A little real one, huh? Yeah, it looked real. And I wanted it to kind of connect to this butterfly. But then the homegirl was like, fuck it, let's just do it on your face. I'm like, (laughs) all right, fuck it. And she's a tattoo artist. She's a uh, shout out to her for real. She does all my tattoos. Um, Her name's Always Flourishing on Instagram. Uh huh. 
she's um she's actually pregnant right now so you know we we trying to help her with all oh, the yeah. with all Tell the art yeah uh, check it if out if you have any anybody need tattoos go to her you know check her out for sure she does cool she did the my chin she did my this cross i have a douce cross that's my favorite alcohol what? i got yeah. the douce it means courage yeah so, douce mm-hmm. sick yeah my arms is all tatted up too i got flowers and then some shit over here nice stuff yeah this is the newest the, the latest spider. how old the spider is i got it on my birthday so December that was like 22nd. what? Second. It was like a couple weeks, weeks ago. ago. Oh damn, it's fresh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Freshy. That's dope. That's real it dope. Is. What'd you do for your birthday? I see you be mm. you be getting the oh, gram yeah. popping. You be doing <laughs> you be doing it. The gram is going up right now. Actually, <laughs> hell yeah. Matter of fact, my uh, yeah, we're about to drop hella music on the g- like all the reels. Yeah. We're gonna go crazy. Yeah. We're doing reels. That's the new like TikTok for Instagram. You know, right? Mm-hmm. Get that shit going. And we Everybody haven't even need to do it. We, we gotta do the reels too. Yeah, we haven't even talked about that. Like even the music that you got oh, coming thanks. out. Oh right? my gosh, there's so much music. Like right now, you got what? Like maybe five songs out. Yeah, I have like five songs, but I have like six unreleased albums. Damn, you hear that? <laughs> six. <laughs> like six unreleased for real. Like six. I have five on my computer that I was just listening to. I was sh- I had a little listening party at my house. Like it was a little vibe. I just Dope. made food for my cousin, and we just listened to my <laughs> shit. She was in from out of town, but uh, yeah, I got hella music coming. It's a uh, kind of overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. <laughs> I don't know what to you do. You just gotta get a rolling. You know what I mean? I need a fucking manager. That too. I really yeah. need a manager. That too. So you know, put your applications in. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Insert app. That's app a holler. Here. I really Hit her need up. Help. Come with the resume. I'd be like, not no bullshit. If Please. you really ain't got, if you really can't put some credentials on a piece of paper, don't mm-hmm. don't hit her up. Right. Yeah. You know, you gotta let her know. See. You need to be at least artists. Like you need to have like two other artists you're managing. Feel me? Right. You need to be on top. Doing of it. shit already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be. You need to already I be have in that lane. I have so much in the archives that probably would blow me up if I have videos with it. It would go nuts. It's just time and money, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And this, the time we live in right now <laughs> is mm-hmm. fucking crazy. The so. first one you got rolling out is EP, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do an EP in, like, February. I'm going to probably drop it. You have a name weeks. for it yet? Man, I have some ideas. Some ideas. And do you want to share? <laughs> 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 um... Honestly, no. Uh, <laughs> said no. Keep that shit. They're yeah. kind of, they're one of those, like, um, yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, motherfuckers be taking shit. Yeah. No, this for real. I learned that firsthand, for real. You got to move in silence. Cause I'm trying to move a little quiet. I mean, we could move loud, but yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot that's private. Once, that's you, already, once loud. you already covered all your bases, that's when you move loud. Yes. Uh, not until then, you... Yeah, when we're when I'm ready, probably in like, probably in like a week or two, I'll drop like a, a preview of the whole shit in like the picture, with the cover art and shit, and start promoting it and getting it ready. So when I do drop, everyone already has it saved and shit's ready. Right. You know, marketing too. That's the process. Marketing's crazy. Definitely. Definitely. Fuck, man. (laughs) (laughs) That should be. And a couple of the other projects you have, like you say, you've been fucking around, fucking with other people from around the town. So you got like a little project here, a little project there. Yeah, so I'm working with this um, this group of people. We don't really have a name or nothing. You don't have a name? Nah, it's just like a little collective, a little Denver collective. Um, but I'm working with this this girl named Jay Jordan uh, on Instagram. It's just Jay Jordan. She made clothes. She sets events up. She's like. 24 years old she's oh, doing it dope. she's good that's she's she's definitely a solid people um we have a pr- the producer we're working with is holiday he's like 17 years old 18 yeah. years old he's cold oh, really yeah. cold that's tight. and then um yeah we've been recording at gbl with raj and then um we have a couple other places we're about to record and finish the project I don't even know when, but we just did a, I think it was like a 12-hour session 
up in the mountains at Holiday Studio at his home studio. Yeah. So we dope. got some shit done there for this project that's about to pop out. So. What other projects you got as well? Mm. The other one is um, I'm working with a collective in Atlanta. Or not Atlanta. It's like just Georgia. It's all different parts of Georgia. All across. Because mm-hmm. Georgia's big. But, um, yeah, they're called Phi ATL. Um, they're young, too. Them kids are young. They're cool, though. Their their music is very different. It's a, it's, you know who Yeet is? No, I don't. I'm about to check that Yeet's out. Yeet's like, a, um, he has this vibe to him. You know who Yeet is? Yeet, for real? Y'all need to, hold on. Here. <laughs> Yeet goes. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's like, I don't even know. It's not like trippy beats, but it's like a rage kind of, I don't know. It has its own, I'll play some shit. I'll play one of the songs we're doing. Yeet. Yeah. Y-E-E-T. Y-E-A-T. Y-E-A-T. Mm-hmm. What's the name of the song? Uh, You could do... <laughs> <coughs> Type in yeet and then let me see what come up. Yeah, he's cold though. He um he just kind of popped up and went stupid. Caught fire. Yeah, he um he knows a lot of skaters out here in Denver. You could do get busy's cool. That's a cool video. Yeah. Oh, you gotta turn that hoe up. Oh yeah, no. Hey. We're all we're all high. This is your, this is your shit. No, that's funny. Thanks. Is this someone you're working with? You said. No, but this is the style of beats that we're working with, gotcha. and the kind of music that. But we have our own sound. You feel me? But this is right. definitely that uh, genre. Yeah, that little. You feel me? Our shit's not out on YouTube or nothing. There any of the other kids' music? I don't think their shit's out on YouTube. It's all on SoundCloud and iTunes. Mm-hmm. But I'm working with another artist out here. His name's J Truth um, and Punk Star Nova. They're cool. They're um, they're young too. Uh, J Truth, he's a little older. He's like my age, I think. And who's the main producer you've been working with that you're gonna do your album with? Oh, the main one that'll be uh, Less. Less boy got hits. Less guy hits. Less guy he definitely, hits. I'm wearing his I hat. I don't know, right now. but I've definitely heard it on plenty yeah. of videos. Less guy hits. You know I know. What I was Less, Less definitely, guy thing, yeah. he got hits. <laughs> Let me tell you, we got a hit. I'll show you it. <laughs> I'll show yeah, you. It. That sure. shit is fire. Hey, how is it working with him? Like a like, I don't want to say like a real producer, but a producer that's just working with you on this project, like. Yeah, I mean, Top to bottom. we've um we've like briefly talked about how the project's gonna be. We just recorded the first song, um. Anyways, like the first time that I've recorded with him on a personal level like that, because I've seen like I I kind of I grew up around Les during high school. He's been always around me at the studio that I was kind of living at and chilling with my ex. We we stayed there, ran the shit, um, but he was the head producer at that studio, so. Through all that, we created that friendship and family bond, and I had never, you know, opened up to him on that way of, like, with my music. I've never showed him Mm -hmm. none of that. So for him to come to me and, like, hey, come work. Let's get it. I I see potential in you. Come on. And just open up to me to his home and his home studio. It was very special. I appreciate that shit. But that's why this album is going to go crazy because he brings different energy. Like, he has so much sauce from other artists and from other places in this in this he's traveled like he has he's done a lot of work for a lot of artists and he's been in the studio with many artists that are have made it right on a national level we're talking yeah that's why i'm like just to have him in my corner and want to be there solid this project's gonna go i'm not even worried i'm not even thinking about it honestly it's just going with the flow but he's definitely gonna be the head producer on that I'll probably have him work with my uh, Holiday, the young producer, right. just to put him kind of on another level and elevate his uh, his life. But who yeah, are some Lest. of the industry industry um, rappers that you said Les may be for um, or worked with? Should I say? I know he made some shit for like Ty Dolla Sign, or no, I think it was Tory Lanez. Um, there's a bunch of people. He's like, there's a list like. I was just reading it. He sent me like a beat pack 
just the other day that I'm about to go crazy on. Hell yeah. But yeah, Trev Rich, um, Dizzy Wright, oh, Dizzy Nipsey Wright's even, Ty Dollar Sign, uh, Tory Lanez, Trev, yep, Rich the Kid, OT Genesis. They call him AP. You know, he worked with AP. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I've definitely, that's where I've heard the most. Oh, yeah, story. AP. I've, I've known AP, too. It's crazy just from, like, mutuals in the studio from when I was, like, probably, like, 16, 17. I was at that studio just roaming around, chilling, being around all of them, not knowing what the fuck. <laughs> not trying, knowing. Yeah, trying to figure out. Yeah, just, no, I was just there because the guy I was dating, and he introduced me to everybody. That's why I'm thankful for him, too, for real, like, we had our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, like I wouldn't know the people I do now right. without him and his influence in my life at the time, for sure. Hey, so. what's like your process in the studio? Man, can't give you can't, can't <laughs> give away the sauce. Do you like do you like write? Do you like kind of like? Yeah, so probably during the day usually I write, and I'll just write on my phone. I'll listen to beats or I'll listen to. I'll just. I'll just put some shit on in the background and make my own shit up to it and then, like, write it down. And then I have not that, because I won't remember the flow, you feel me? I'll just, what's it called? I'll just have those lyrics from that time and that, like, emotion I was in. And And then I'll go into the booth, put those lyrics to a beat that I fuck with, or I'll freestyle it. I've I've been getting faster, so now I'm making songs in, like, fucking 30 minutes a song in 30 minutes so in a whole hour i'm making two songs and maybe starting another one so by the end of the night i maybe if i want to buy like a whole another two hours and you know that's six seven songs right going crazy like i have it's it's crazy the the melodies i'm coming up with is blowing my brain (laughs) it's blowing my fucking brain (laughs) how would you kind of like describe your music or your style um i think of it as like a trancy trap music okay. it's um but it's also very like i don't think it's like hypnotizing but it has a vibe to it where it's you put it puts you in a trance it makes you think like and it makes you feel some type of i feel like my music can make anyone feel a certain emotion whether you hate it or you like it you know you're gonna right. feel something right. like the shit i'm saying is real the shit i'm saying definitely people have gone through or felt or your feeling or the way you fuck hate yourself that day you know and it gets that yeah. get you out of it that song you know my music can get me out that shit that's dope but i make music for myself at the end of the day <coughs> yeah, i make that shit because i need to get this shit out i don't i definitely like oh yeah people will like it cool but that was the, my problem because i've been making music for five years now six years now since my freshman year of high school right so you say, now you say that I'm releasing, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's no longer a journal. Like, this yeah, is real. No, this I, is I can right do here. something with this. For sure. So it's cool. You said it saved your life, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang. Hmm. Get that shit. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to get it Can you talk hot. about that? Yeah. Music, man. Damn, that shit is. Music yeah. saved my life for real. It like, man, I was I was young and sad going through it. I got bullied as a kid in school. You know, I've always been really petite, but my my family, I'm Latina, like we're all very short. So just hearing that shit all the time is funny. You feel me? But now that I have tattoos, it's so funny. People don't even talk to me. They just be like, "Oh, this girl's crazy. <laughs> she got <laughs> tattoos. This short girl's crazy." But, no, yeah, music saved my life a lot. Um, All types of music, just listening to music, finding music that nobody knew of, and hearing shit that, oh, I'm putting my friends on, you know. That's how I made friends at the time. Like, oh, I have good taste in music. Cool, I could be a DJ at this little, like, sleepover, you feel me? Yeah, I could put you on some dope shit. I could put y'all on. And it kind of sucked because as a kid, I was weird. Like, I felt like I was weird. And people, I feel like people thought I was weird, too. But I was just older for my age. And, like, mentally I would talk about different things. And I was already around. I was around a lot as a kid, like, with my dad. And it's just, uh, my whole life as a kid, was I was around a lot. But um, 
music with that. Same with my dad. Like, without my dad's music and him singing to me, I probably wouldn't be as happy of a person. Music always brings me up. I'll start humming some shit when I'm sad and just vibe through that shit. And then I'm happy again. That's dope. Right. I'm Gucci. I feel you. Like, it's a good way to be. It's definitely no, saved me in that way. I can fix my attitude. I can fix how I feel. I could change someone else's emotion. I could save other. That's the thing. Like, I feel like I could really speak about some shit and save someone else from feeling like that. Feel me? Yeah, no, I like, feel a lot of, like, Juice World, he definitely put some shit in my brain that made me think deeper about my emotions. And his melody is crazy. But, yeah, Juice World's definitely another uh, artist that has inspired me. Sure. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Juice World. I feel what you're talking about, like the music, like getting you out of like a slump or some shit like that. Like, I got like, a little Nipsey mm-hmm. playlist that always oh, fucking she's on film. Yeah, you know, you have your playlist yeah. that just puts you back on. You're like, oh, yeah. fuck that. I'm turned <laughs> yeah. up all day. <laughs> right. Fuck, we uh, cool now. Yeah. Fuck all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my mom, she used to, when I was growing up, she always played music in the house. Like, I was always, there's always music playing. Like, right. my mom, to this day, she'll play records in the house, cooking in, in the morning if what I'm kind staying of shit at her she house. Play? What do you re- what she do you, what's plays like, your, like what's jazz. like the shit you remember mm, most? Jazz, reggae, Prince. My mom loves Prince. Oh my god, she's obsessed with Prince. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh, so yeah, she definitely yeah, got like Michael era, Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, my mom Lionel was an Richie. '80s girl. She had the curly hair. She permed her hair. She was cheeks so. out. She was lit. My mom was beautiful. Well, she still is beautiful. Fuck. Right, right, <laughs> but right. but she used as to when she was uh, young. 80s style, that's what she was getting. Yeah, it. she was fire. That's tight. Her and her best friend, Christy, R.P. Christy, but she definitely turned up with my mom. They were crazy with the music. <laughs> my mom my mom was around music. Her best friend uh, started the B-Girl, B-Boy Summits in L.A. in, um, like, the, what is that, like, the 80s? Yeah. Yeah, B-Boy Summits. 80s Summit. and 90s. 90s went really? crazy with it. Yeah. Asia no one, shit. Asia, yeah, Asia one. Me, yeah, that's my sure. aunt. Like, She's dope. I just went roller skating with her like She's last super dope. weekend. Well, you need to yeah, tell her to hit us up. So we yeah, I'm gonna bring her, her on the podcast. Hell yeah, she don't smoke sh- at all. Yeah, right. yeah, we already got. She that, don't smoke. She won't want to be around the smoke. smoke. Yeah, we yeah. won't smoke with her. We can here, definitely. Yeah, we were actually talking yeah, about that earlier. We make the accommodation. We'll just get real high before they come. Yeah, she's Christian now. She's a newborn. I don't know what. I don't really know the term. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, she's. On that, <laughs> shout out, shout out. Shouts out to I love my auntie. She, I'm about to get this. She's we, dope. We we have great conversations. She's amazing. But yeah, she's dope. So she uh, yeah, my she mom taught she taught some uh, some dope routines to like our. When, and when when I was in a I was like a high school hip hop performance. For we real, did some she was like a b boy b girl. Like she came and taught. She came and taught some shit. No, she's she super was, dope. Yeah, she's. Age is the shit. She's super dope. She's, she's an OG. Dope. She is an OG. Like for real. That's like crazy. you want her autograph? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, you nah, want Asia's real, autograph? Yeah, yeah. Asia yeah, one, get that look shit. her up. Yeah. I find a. on eBay. I'm yes, beating your ass. Asia one. <laughs> she pull up with a black book. She'll hit it. Hell you know? yeah. Oh yeah. She's, she's a real B girl. <laughs> she's, oh. yeah, she's, 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 she's a real fucking B girl. That's she'll dope, write, man. She'll write her night away. She don't even. Yeah, she's dope. Shout she don't play. Yep. Asia taught me how to write. Asia put me into onto all that. That's dope. She gave me my first black book. She. Yeah, she taught dope. me about different tips, different cans, what paint to use. She taught me how, what angles, everything. That's dope. We made clothes together, like the per- the spray paint shirts. Yeah, she did the clothes. We yeah, did. She did all kinds See, of you shit. Must have I have it. shit when I was a baby of like little shirts, like my shirts as a baby, yeah. of her doing drawings on on them and shit. That's dope. Yeah, she's a she's a cold piece. Super dope. See, you must have read my mind because I was just about to talk about getting to you're <laughs> making clothing. And you let oh, right yeah. into it, like, because you another clothes is a, a peaceful place. Right, that's definitely a safe place. That's a hobby of mine, which I is turning clothes. into like a business because people are digging your shit and requesting yeah. it and uh, wanting you to do mo. Yeah, people are. I've been making these like uh, these like balaclava head scarves. Oh, like they're tight. They're d- and you can put them up and wear them as like little turbans. People been rocking the turbans. It's turban season. Twizzy in here. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. We did. I think last time I came here, I had my shit wrapped up. Right, you look like a ninja. I didn't even know who yeah. you were. I was real, like, I, I know. I, I, like I, 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 I was thinking was she was a sniper fool. I was Y'all like, like she's a sniper. Crazy bitch. <laughs> she's in the. She's I a sniper. Even know, I was like, even till the later, I was <laughs> like, oh, that's who that was. 
Yeah, yeah, I thought she was the sniper in the corner, bro. Ready to uh, fuck you. Like, hey, we're cool with Nay. Like, you like, know, like, fam. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear that, Nay. Uh, I ain't say that, but you know what? I'm <laughs> your killer. Like, I am her thug, though. Yeah, that's, that's definitely up. my spider, my thug. Yeah, she's the shit. That's dope. Yeah. Hey, one of the other things you talk about is like, you don't want to be signed to a label unless they're coming with that real yeah. cheddar, right? Yeah, I feel like. That independent grinds give money. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of artists that I know that are independent and they're living off this shit right now and they're doing good. And as long as I'm doing good off of it, I'm not stressed to, you know, keep getting more. Yeah, I'll keep getting more because what, you know, it comes to you. Yeah. It, and if you're grateful and you're everything, you know. You deserve that. Yeah, shit. that shit will come to you. Like, it's not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not trying to be signed unless I'm definitely on a really good team and everyone's genuine, but, you know, the industry's fucked. Oh, that ain't That's happening. <laughs> they ain't exactly. Like, every, every, no. I know, for real. I, it's not going to happen, like, unless it's my own label <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm running the shit or someone that I know is running it and we have mutual understanding of how to run this business. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't you got to explain to me your backwood rolling technique right here. Because I've seen you bust out the paper twice. Yeah, so. And give it like an extra stupid, coat of wax. So these stupid woods. <laughs> right? It's a whack ass okay. woods. I feel I've lost you. holes in them. <sighs> so you in wrap the paper codes. around it. And it's like a spliff. It's like you're smoking a spliff yeah, practically. A spliff. But it's also saving the holes because you could. We don't save the hose. <laughs> no, we don't save the hose. You can't save them. They can't, can't be saved. Them. He said, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be saved. They can't be saved. Show can't be saved. Man. You know, I'm yeah, sorry. You can't I'm save sorry. the hose. I, I love y'all. Holes. Holes. In the wall. In the you wall. get some fucking right, plaster. Right. You put it over them. You fix them up. You paint it the same color. Yeah, but hey, it works. Oh, all right, it works. works. Hopefully, That's what <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, just, like I'm just curious, you know, because hey, I've yeah, yeah. I've never seen that. Have yeah, you ever my, seen that? My yeah, cousin, right. he's right. from the East Coast, okay. and he started doing this. So then I was like, mm, I'm gonna start doing this. <laughs> so I brought it up here. Hey, it works. <laughs> yeah, I've just been doing this since probably like my freshman year. Whenever there's a hole in it, I usually keep papers in my bag because I smoke spliffs. But nay. Nay, Nay got me addicted to backwoods again. <laughs> Damn it's it, Nay. Bad. We love you still. I know. I'm about to Because you know what? We didn't bring no backwoods tonight. <laughs> it's funny. I know. I she we usually tonight, got yeah. the woods in it. Today, I didn't even. We've been slacking we on the couple pack podcasts. Yeah, I tried to you get know. some cool shit, some dark stout. They're all right. Yeah. No, they're cool. I, was, I like those. I just like the little packaging. Yeah. This one's cool. Hell yeah. It has like a little beer on it. Hey, what kind of what kind of things you do when you're not doing music and not designing and not wrecking shit? <laughs> I'm roller skating. <laughs> For I real? roller skate, yeah. Oh, sick! That's sick. Yeah, I um. The four wheels, like the yeah, like quads. Quads. We, I JB this? style, so it's like James Brown style. So we okay. listen to a lot of break beats. A lot of it's oh, tight. Yeah, it's a lot of footwork. It's um it's Chicago sick. style too, and ATL. Like we we do a lot of that. She's so. versatile. Yeah, we. I have a lot of. Um, it was crazy. I went in there like I hadn't been skating for probably years, and then my friend one time called me and was like, "Hey, come roller skating. We're all here." And I was like, "Roller skating? What the <laughs> fuck? We never go roller skating. We usually like go to the park, smoke, chill, right? Go do some art, do photography, something." But they're like, "No, we roller skating." So I pulled up, put them skates on, and I knew how to skate. I was like, oh, uh, shit. Oh, yeah, I remember. Because it came yeah, back. It, came, yes. it was muscle right memory. So it, I was sore as fuck. Oh, my God, I was so sore. You don't realize either but while you're doing it because it's all fun and man. shit. And then. Yeah, and it was tight. Boom. I didn't, I wasn't falling or nothing. But after that, I was addicted to it. Like, real life, I was going every, that next day, I went and bought skates. Oh, shit. I went and bought skates downtown at Death and Glory Skate Shop. Go get your skates. Right. Um, <laughs> shout out to them. But, um, yeah, I went and got skates, started skating outdoor, learning, trying to learn everything because I was not about to be in there looking dumb. Right. Like, I'm I'm going to go here and do this shit. We're all going to, like, I'm going to skate with everybody because that shit was so cool to me. Like, it was mesmerizing to watch people skate. 
so once I got out there and learned everything, it was just like, now I can't stop. I, I go every uh, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Damn. Three days a week. That's go dope. crazy. And it's like Where three at? hours, two hours for seven bucks. Skate oh, City. That's dope. Skate City. Say, Skate City, adult night from Skate. 8 to 10.30, and it's all adults in there, 18 and up. Oh, shit. But the 18-year-olds don't player. even be in there. It'd be like 40s. Grown people. Yeah, it'd be grown people. It's cool. I love it. Yeah, 18 year olds are like, it's old in here. Yeah, and at the end, like, we all go to the <laughs> bars together or we all go eat at IHOP. Sorry. Like, everybody just chill. It's a, it's a big family. It's really dope. That's it. Yeah, I'm thank sure Man, they're, they saved my life this last year. I was hanging around the wrong people at the time and, you know, doing drugs, just being bad, not, not focused. And then found skating. And then every weekend I was there. You feel me? I was skating, working out. We were listening to music. I list. I have a whole new genre of music I listen to now. Like fire. That's so skate, skating saved my life too. There you sure. go. There you go. I've never been able to do any shit like that. I don't know why. No skating. No it's rollerblading. No skiing. You have to feel that shit in your soul, literally. Some, like, cause I'll be roller fighting. skating is in your soul. If if yeah. you don't have that shit in your soul, you can't skate. I'm sorry, just can't. <laughs> it's crazy like that. I'm sitting up there smoking. Yeah, this blunt, but it's his, like his watching that shit. Is, wow. You said yours is his. His soul oh. is skateless. <laughs> oh no, no, I get down. Said, I oh. skate backwards. <laughs> oh, with the arms and the elbows, <laughs> you're doing it all. The yeah. John Travolta it's clothes. Going down, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come. It's Sundays. It's eight to ten thirty, and then Fridays. It's um ten to twelve. Sometimes we'll do like eight to twelve Damn, if dope. there's events. Yeah, it's it's fun, and you know we be taking shots. Eight to twelve, lit, four man. hours. It's like the club on the skates. Skating. It literally is the club on skates. Yeah. People be fucked up out <laughs> there. You ever see yeah, people get fucked skate, up? Yeah, but if you then you could be fucked up. Like you're, it makes you better, I think. Yeah, it loosens you up. Yeah, yeah, you could do crazy shit stiff. with your legs. Like you ever see you? Is there any ever any people all fucked up though? Like yeah, fucked this up, one fucked time, up, falling and shit. Man, it was so sad. This girl got kicked out. Oh shit. She was so fucked up. She was like laying on the ground, fucked up. Oh shit. We were like, do we need to call the ambulance? <laughs> but no, we didn't. Was, yeah, right. We didn't call the ambulance. She no. she got picked up. Damn, that's terrible. And the show went on. It was crazy. They they just were like, all right, get her off the floor, play the music, <laughs> handle that. But that's crazy. Yeah, they were cool. Hell she yeah. was safe. She she wasn't that bad. You feel me? She was safe. I know we talked a little bit about the shit you got coming out, but what's like what 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 do you see? Where do you see yourself in about a year? Man, I hope I see myself in a new fucking car. <laughs> right. <laughs> in the car that I want that could get me places. And I could at least drive to state to state, and and a team. I just really by then this next year, I really hope to have a team that's still here. You feel me, rocking, still uh, believing. Like a solid team, still, like no one leaving. Yeah, like my producer, engineer, my photographer. I need everybody on board. You feel me? And people fall off all the time, so it's like, hopefully in this next year, by the end of year, by my birthday, hopefully I got at least ten videos out. At least like some videos with K Baby. I need I need all that from here. And then I I'm trying to get the fuck out too. I'm about to go to Atlanta with Nay. I'm about yeah. to be out yeah. there. I'm about to be big house living, big baller living. There you <laughs> go, Magic City. Yeah, we about to be lit. Oh, but yeah. at the same time, we it is focus. So focus time. I gotta um. Yeah, it'll be something. Next year's all gonna right. be. You got a big ass trip plan, right? Yes, I'm going to Europe. Oh my God, pray for me, y'all. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> going to Europe for a whole month, Damn. fourteen different countries and cities. Damn. Stressed. That's bro. pretty dope. <laughs> no, that's dope. it's dope as fuck, but it's like that's a lot of traveling. Can you I'm take weed internationally? Can you like? No. Hell yeah, you're gonna be tired. I can't take no weed. Nah. I have somebody in Spain though that I know that lives out there. That has weed. They gonna give you some bullshit. <laughs> so <though. laughs> you know, but this. no, I know them. Yeah. I know them, and they got gas. I know oh, they got yeah. some gas. Uh, 
least for what Spain can offer. You feel me? And you're, the best and you'll be on offers. a tolerance break until then. So yeah, it'd be different chemicals. No, no, no. Dude. Spain is our first That's stop. The, oh, fuck. So I'm gonna get there if I, you know, yeah. I could live without weed though. Yeah. I've done it before. I did. I had to do UAs before. Yeah. I had to. Man, I had a broken foot. They wouldn't let me smoke. My mom wouldn't let me smoke. That shit was lame. Yeah. And then I started smoking again when after like the 12 weeks or some shit, they're like, your blood clots or you won't get blood clots now. So I started smoking again. I said, yeah. fuck everybody. But I was on like a three week hiatus, I think I'll two be week, okay. two week hiatus, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nothing too bad. That if it wasn't COVID, great. I think I could have snuck up to the roof and, you know what I mean? <laughs> did my thizzle. <laughs> but that's dope. And you're getting a lot of traveling too, huh? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm going to. I can't tell you where I'm going next week. But right. <laughs> I was going to say, you definitely go shoot a video, though, when you're traveling, you know, in Europe and stuff, right? I do have this guy that I was, of that. You that take I, um, of that. reached out to. Whether it was just with your iPhone. Oh, yeah. I have my so. friend. She'll definitely do some shit for me. We got people that edit, so it's like, we just got to send the footage to them. They'll fix it. Yeah. Make it cool. Crazy. Make something happen. Hell, yeah. Hey, what are some of the songs you got out right now? Shit, the one that's going crazy right now is My Girl. Yeah, that's just yeah, hard. That's hard. Yeah, that yeah. one's hard. For sure. I sent that, that to the chat spicy. when I announced that we were doing the interview. Hell yeah, nah, I appreciate nah. it. AK, none of your business. None of your business. None of your business. None of your business. Your business. Yeah. I said. <laughs> <laughs> so shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me try to hear it. I'm just playing. Man. That's dope, but yeah, man. My Girl's Going Crazy, uh, We Ain't the Same. That one's yeah, that going, one's a lot of people yeah. fuck with that one. Um, streets, I think people could connect to Streets, because, you know, it's talking about, I said, uh, you snatch the bag, run away looking like a bitch. Feel me? Because there's been a lot of times that your homies or people have snatched something from you, stole from you. Yeah. You know, you walking away, you're the bitch. Like, yeah. And then yeah. the rest of the song talk about it too, but I feel that talk about an experience I experienced. <laughs> Fuck, but yeah, that one's going dumb. I think "Hold Me" went crazy too. They all went crazy. That's why these new ones, tch, I have a whole new like sound I'm going for. Like you say, everything's ones. different. Mm. These ones are gonna be like a a very. It's not like. It's just like a lower tone voice that I'm uh -huh. using. I'm using a different side of me, I think. Different I'm feeling, frequency. Yeah, a different. different this vibe. one, this one's the one with less. Yeah. This one's cool. You know less got the hits, yeah, right? Yeah, this crazy. This one's, I'm, I'm singing on this one, but. Oh, shit. Yeah, we tried something different. You know, we were playing with the auto tune. Right. We were trying to do some different shit. It's cool though. Right. The beat though. That beat's killing. Yeah, that shit's hard. Yeah, this one gonna go crazy. Yeah, that's it. Uh -oh. Yeah, and he made the beat like in front of me. You feel me? Like it was very personal. He's like crafting it for you. That's man. what I, I like about what you're so, telling me about this. That's is, why like this said, project. He's crafting <laughs> that whole shit to that's you. That's dope. And then you like Les everything different. So that ahead. means when we hear it, every beat's gonna be fucking different, oh, every but song, banging. Bro, every song yeah. is different. Like, you this know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like, yeah, this is crazy. That's dope. Yeah, we going nuts, guys. Where can they find your songs that are out right now? Only SoundCloud. I have um I literally just brought bought my like distro kid to where I could upload to um YouTube, mm -hmm. iTunes, fucking what else? Pandora. You can do mm -hmm. all types of shit. What's Link. the name on the SoundCloud? Uh it's just N A A S S I I Y Y A A. Same as my Instagram and my Snapchat. So you can find me anywhere with that at pretty much. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Made it simple. For real. Because I didn't, I'm like, fuck, I don't want all these different names right, or right. my email. My emails, if you ever, anybody got beats, send it to official nana management, mgmt at gmail.com. 
Which is official, not not MGMT. Yeah. Official. Yeah, official. And because you ain't official. <laughs> well, I feel like I just needed the official because <laughs> people will make a fake email. You feel me? Someone can make fake shit in the future. Unofficial, no, nah, no, nah, at Gmail, no. Nah. Official. Send yeah. the beats too. <laughs> Send them. <laughs> Send the beats if you got beats. What kind of beats you like? I mean, you like everything. Yeah, I like everything. Do you have anything though that you prefer that you have a little preference toward? You want to hit this little ass thing? Yeah, let me see that shit. Sorry, I be putting the roaches out my bed. No, you tripping. I'm about to smoke I bet. Shit. Damn, there's another one right here. No, it's not. Uh, beats. I like, um, man, I like very trippy beats with a lot of 808s in them. All right. So, I like that bump. I, there has to be some head bop in there. You know, you got to be feeling it. it. Like, it has to be catching your ear every time, that beat. It has to be something you remember and kind of stuck in your head you feel me <laughs> right can you hand me another water yeah for real Thank i need to hydrate you know? myself no, no i need one too shit. i'm like fuck. <clears throat> i'm with it we're gonna have a water slamming contest right ready the That's one that loses whoever water. loses what what do they owe like I, I was gonna say five push-ups, but I can't do five push-ups. <laughs> you said whoever loses. Yeah, I got the contest. Let's slam the water real quick. It's the beagle water. Shit. It's the juice. <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I got a hi- I got a hydrate. Drink water. Let's see who drink their water. I got a hydrate. What's if you can't drink this whole water, you can't or can right. you? Man, I don't know. This might be. A, this I, should, might I, 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 would, I would say half for you. I would say Elvis three quarter. You know, I don't know. Salud, the water. All right, Hello. ready? Shout Cheers. out to Sin drinking water. You know what Cheers. I mean on the podcast. Ooh, <laughs> <Flashy. Salud. laughs> I'm finna laugh. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, oh, he God. did it. Y'all did it. <laughs> okay, you lost. Cause this is I, worry, I, I know we're racing. It. If you want to race, we could do another one. Oh, I, I would have been like, Where was it like the same time? <laughs> <laughs> right off. Oh, smash that shit. This shit yeah. gone. Yeah. I had to drink water. That was as fast as the water would come out. There you have it, man. We just drank. All right, the so water Joe, right what do you want? What do I want? I just want to. You know what I mean? I I don't know. Just like everyone else, just want to be happy, be productive, <laughs> be fucking. I don't know. All I'm right, high. you win the happiness. Oh, you win it. that's <laughs> your good yeah, show. You, you know what I'm saying? You we got it. bomb shit going over here. You <laughs> know what I mean? Go. We got dope guests like you, Nay. Yeah. Fucking. You know what I mean? We got far side things to send. You know what I mean? We got doing it, man. You got what you want. Hell yeah. So, you know, we got Juan on the camera, you know what I mean? Yawning over camera here. This motherfucker smoking too much fucking, what is he? Tropical fucking banana. Tropicana banana. Tropicana banana. Tropicana banana. This little high as a motherfucker. Tropicana like, tropicana every now, I'm gonna rip down every night. He'd be like, yeah, these motherfuckers, where y'all gonna finish, bro? Like, what the fuck? You lucky we don't have another one. You lucky, you what, fucking PBJ, up. you know what I mean? You'd be really hurting, bro. But yeah, good times, good vibes, you know what I mean? You have any like shout outs, any kind of last thoughts? Man, follow me on Instagram and SoundCloud. That's it. That's shout out to it. everybody. Everybody. We're going to, you know, bring bring the city up. I, yeah. I believe in everybody Going here. Out. Big shout things popping. Shout out to everybody that honestly brought me in a session before. They they brought music around me. Shout out 100 Pack Savvy. Shout out uh, Get Money Sick. That's A1, day one. You, you got to do that, do an interview with them for sure. Been trying to holler at 100 Pack. 100 Pack <laughs> and Get Money. They're fire. You know, A Stack too. He's always yeah. been cool people's fucking. Yeah. Who else? Polo Hillfigure, he's called. I've been in a lot of their sessions. K Baby, shout out to you. Shout out to Ox Dior. Ox Dior has always been good people. Showed love since day one. Believed in me for sure. Man, yeah, shout out to and Nay Renee. Fuck, Nay yeah, Renee. Nay's yeah. bomb. Shout out to Nay for real. She's shout been she's putting me on, showing me love, you know, putting a roof over my head when I need it, a place to live, place to be around. You know, she always put food on a plate for me. Like, no, she's a dope individual. She always take care of me for real, whatever it is. If it's if I need a fucking shot, she gonna give me a shot. If I need some <laughs> weed, I got some weed. If I need to ride, I got a ride. Like, place to sleep, got it. She's every she's God. <laughs> she's Shouts out to Nay. And yeah. two times her her best yeah, friend. Shouts out two times. Two times. Two times, man. Two times heal up. She just broke her foot in a car accident. Oh, oh man. Uh, no. That's just crazy. She needs to heal well. up. Glad she's alive though. 
Yeah, for real, know. she gonna she gonna be back and better. Yeah, for sure. You know she in know. Texas, everybody everybody out yep. the state right now. But right. Yeah, but that's it. Shouts out to y'all too. Fuck, bringing no, me pre- up here. Appreciate you coming. Yeah, through. no, thank you for Talking coming. Chilling. Really appreciate it. Yeah, hey, no, a good we time. Was in here for a long yeah. time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were smoking. We had about like an hour smoke session. For like seven o'clock. Right. Damn. We were smoking. You know what I'm saying? At Za. Yeah, we got the power hitter. Shouts power out hitter. to Za packs. Y'all stay Zah getting packs. me zooted up. I be zooted and booted. Hell yeah. Man. That's the way to be. Maybe like. At three in the morning on the couch, see it roll up, roll up, and <laughs> this is what she throw at me. Mm-hmm. The Zod pack, she'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Do you catch it, or does it hit you in the head and then hit the ground?" Sometimes I'll catch it, but sometimes I don't. You know, <laughs> that shit'll hit me in my eye, in my head. Hit the ground. But you know, we gonna keep smoking. Yeah, we go. Oh, up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. uh, really scared Sorry. about this snow. It's Ooh, chronic. It's chronic. It's chronic. I know. It's chronic. <laughs> No, it's a crowd. Chill, bro, that sounded rough. Bro. Pro- it is. It's the backwoods. We just smoked like five of them. You just smoked like a And I just smoked like three months <laughs> before y'all came. You know right. I mean, and she we said, we've like, been, we, we got here at eight, right? Yeah, we just smoked like three woods. Well, where you at with the CBD 10 30. Where you at with the hemp, hemp roll, bro? Yep. Roll up. You yeah, got where the, the hemp. hemp rolls? Yep. Roll up. Roll up. We got weed here. There's this weed. This boy. Fuck, bro. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Skirt. That's now all I say in the car. In the Skirt. Skirt. Yeah, like I didn't hit him in the head, though. I, 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 threw like it, I, th- I threw it on the, on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's Tropica. What? Tropicana banana. Tropicana oh banana. Did you say the Tropicana banana? The Tropicana banana. That's Tropicana. what it is. Better go 11 West. Cross it out. Camden. Get them. Before they run out. Yeah, I need to get these. Need to get some. No, we definitely appreciate you coming out once tomorrow. again. Hell yeah, let's do it again. And if you don't know, you can find us on all platforms. All platforms. Or everywhere. All platforms. Bring I mean, yeah, though, fuck. Dope shit from the ha <coughs> <coughs> from the city. Oh, yeah, all that. Oh fuck. I need some water. Uh oh. You drink all nah, your I'm water. <laughs> you better, I drank all the water. I had no water. I don't know what happened. Scary. You kind of scary, bro. I know. Water is. <laughs> 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 that was like the Frogger boys. Yeah, I'm still thirsty. <clears throat> Bottle. I know that was a Frogger boy, sir. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Had to go out of yeah. character real quick or some shit. All right. But we're on all platforms. Make sure you can you find us everywhere. Us yeah, follow us, follow us like everywhere. Us, subscribe, all that shit. Subscribe, share, Comment, promote, all that shit. Help push our Add shit. Us. Yeah. We'll holler at you later. Let's go. Peace Good out. Night.